has been making pottery for how many years now? 35 years now. Sorry to, to call you out time. like that. <laughs> it's a long time. <laughs> yeah, so I've taken classes with you, Steve, yes. and one of the things you always talk about, uh, try and impress upon students is, What's it going to feel like for the person who's going to use your pot? Can you talk about what you think about there? Yeah, I hope I hope yeah. people do use my pots when I get them. One thing I I do is I make these little indents. I don't know if you can see that. So you you hold on to it and it just feels good to hold it. I think if you're going to drink alcohol, you get a better grip on it. The more you drink, you don't have to worry about dropping it. Um, the lips. It feels good on your lips when you're drinking it, so that it, it caves in there, so that it's just like kissing your your cup that you're going to be drinking out of. So it feels you get an intimacy that develops with your work, um, or the user does. Which is very true compared to other types of dishes that we use, right? If it's handmade. Mm hmm Because yeah, they're all stiff and but they're nice and they're functional. But yeah, there's the, when it's handmade, you can tell that the hand, the hand is there. Um, and then I really like to decorate them. So these are, if you want to know some technique, this is, I throw it, I put a black slip on, then a white slip, then I do some drawing on it, it gets fired, and then I add the colors and do a little bit more design work on it, and then I put a, a clear glaze on top of that and it gets fired again. That's how those are made. Yeah. Uh, so what's been your process then for creating new designs? Because I know your work keeps evolving. I don't know. I'll, I will work on something and I get kind of bored with it and then something will come into my head. And actually, these these kind of started... I like when you walk down the street and there there's construction going on and they paint all the little marks for gas lines and all the arrows and everything. So that's what I started kind of drawing on all my work and then it just evolved from there. Like, I don't know, more squiggles and lines and... Yeah, the hardest part is stopping because I can just keep going on a cup. Yeah. Do you want to tell us about how you make these mugs and because these fish kind of look like they're underwater? Was that intentional? Yeah, it is intentional. <laughs> so it, they're basically uh, a, a roller that gets on there, and then because it's rolled, it gets distorted, so they're not perfectly round. But I'm okay with that. And then I put three layers of glaze, clear glazes. Um, and then you get that depth there, so they do look like they're underwater. Yeah, so we've got a brown glaze, a green glaze, and a clear glaze to give that effect of underwater. Yeah, yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs>